In these problems, we are finding the areas of either triangles or parallelograms that have been plotted on the coordinate plane. You're going to need to know some formulas for these. The, the formula for the area of a triangle is that it's 1 half the base times the height. So for this particular triangle here, we could make this side the base. And we could know um, the length of the base just by subtracting the x-coordinates. Uh, we would get a, a distance of 4 here. Uh, negative, six to, or negative 2 to negative 6 is a distance of 4. So base is 4. What about the height? Well, the height of a triangle, you start from uh, the, the vertex opposite the base, and you drop a perpendicular line. And we don't have a, a measurement for that, but the length of this line is the difference between the y-coordinates on the base and the y-coordinate here at the vertex. So our y-coordinate here is negative 3. Our y-coordinate here is positive 6. So that's a distance of 9. So our height equals 9. So now we can go ahead and plug everything into the formula. The area is 1 half the base times the height. And 1 half of 4 is 2 times 9, so our area equals 18. And we just say square units here. So for a parallelogram, it's pretty similar. The, the formula, though, is the area equals the base times the height. So we can say this is our base, and we'll find the length of that by um, looking at the difference between the x-coordinates. So we have negative 3 up to 4. That's a distance of 7. So that side is 7. And then in a parallelogram, we need a height. So we do the same thing. We um, take a perpendicular from one vertex to the opposite side. And again, this distance is going to be the difference in the, the y-coordinates. So we're going from 1 up to 9. That's 8. So our area here is just going to be the base times the height, or 56 square units. So that's a little bit of work with figuring out the areas of triangles and parallelograms in the coordinate plane.